Evening Cowboys. Uh, I'm just going to move over from that fact in that phrase I just said immediately. It's a bit of an update of what's been going down in the in the ground. Doesn't even rhyme. Went for a rhyme. Didn't really pull off. Yeah, this the update has essentially removed all signs. So the whole point of me making this wall so that I knew exactly what I wanted to do has uh, evaporated like a buffalo on fire. I'll stick with that. Evaporated like Foxy leaving Planet Bob. There you go. She's she's just logged off. That was what I was looking for. I've been harvesting a, a fair amount of sand. That's one of the main things I've been up to. Uh, it's been tedious, but we're getting somewhere. We're. I mean, it takes like a double chest now to add like three levels. But the levels are. I mean, I've got a lot more room on these higher level ups. Let's not fall off here. I mean, that's reasonably far across now, getting reasonably high up. Um, I haven't fall, still haven't fallen in that lava, which is a surprise, I think, to everyone. Uh, in other news, meanwhile, um, uh, Ortho and Baku have uh, Baku Raptor have joined the uh, have joined the server, uh, which is the best thing about about Baku joining the server is that he is someone that can take some blame off of me. Instead of everyone just like, oh, Arbs did it. Within five minutes, he had got trapped in the spawn house with a creeper. I, d I don't know how he shut himself in there with it. And fallen down a massive hole by the by Mambet's quarry. Um, really impressive. And oh, and he's already blown up Clear's path, which he tried to blame me for. So, unfortunately, he is, a, he is evolving, which is always a concern. Nothing's really changed on this level. I think, I can't remember if the Emerald one was there last time, and there's some nether blocks that side. Uh, I've actually got some wool. All of them have got at least nearing on a stack, so I've got a bit over. So supplies are increasing. About just under a stack of diamonds. This this has got no further to be in completion. But this, in here, this is the big one. The This this room's finished. Uh, except for well, I haven't fit, put everything all the storage areas in. But I mean, you know, I've actually done the floor, the walls, the ceiling. Um and stuff around. There you go. Which is remarkable process pro process progress because uh, my perseverance is never particularly strong on one one task never pulls always there I have set off a chunk in the direction uh, the this this is me experimenting and we're gonna see what's developed from this with um tripwires and and the malarkey so so I'm now gonna go to the secret lab which will take me a little while to get there but then once I'm there I will, I will in fact return. Okay, so, secret lab, we are at it, or on our way to it. I, I need to do a lot of work here, but I wanted like a big open space which I could sort of experiment with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay, so, let's, let's get back to that in a second. I wanted a big space to experiment with, and there's a few things I want to do, uh, particularly like, uh, I want to do an, an explanation of, of something in... I need a big space for it, and also when I want to try things out, I just wanted a big flat, flat thing. And as you can see, there is something going over there, which we'll get back to in a second. Unfortunately, there is a slime chunk somewhere around here, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, but it took me a while to dig this whole place out and come in, sand, uh, in normal stone. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I built in sandstone, so everything after that just seems, seems fine. So I actually need to go fetch something, and then, then, then we'll be back, back to the lab. So what have I have come, come to fetch? Is actually from, from in here. And the, uh, the old mossy cobble should be a bit of a giveaway. Come on, come on, one of you follow me. Let's go. There we go. And I need, I need this fella. For, for this, I mean, well, is he needed? Yeah, he's sort of needed. He is needed, definitely, the way I've set it up. Right, so, to the lab. Yeah, Mum. I don't, they do this zigzag thing. I don't know if it's because of the roof, but is he going to do it? Yeah, here he goes, whoop, whoop. I don't know, like, for them, they make great dance instructors. Oh, yeah, but they're going to do it so inefficient as well. He's walking so much further than he needs to. He should have a word with himself. 
Also, why don't they why don't they look where they're going? That could be how the guy died. Alright, I need you to get in here. Come on. Yeah, mum. Thank you. So I wanted to... Oh, he's off. He is off. So, uh, well, there's a go there. As you can see, man's on the way. I wanted to do uh, something... I, I was experimenting with uh, tripwires and set them off because, uh, as, as you know, I want to... Um, I've mentioned I want to make a uh, something you walk down and it just throws everything you need at you for like a mining expedition, um, like armour, pick, uh, torches. And the torches were the thing that got me on this because... Uh, before I was going to use pressure plates, um, I, I could have used, uh, again at any point I could probably use detector rails instead of the strip wires, but I just think this looks cooler. I might have an application which the detector rail doesn't quite work for. There's definitely a spider somewhere, which is getting to me. I don't want to get hunting that down. Okay, so, uh, so the, the torches, they, obviously you don't want just one torch. So if you walk over the dispenser, it's going to take you long. So the other option was you get on the minecart and it whizzes you around and it keeps going over something like a little circle and fills you up with torches, which then again becomes completely inefficient and completely pointless. But most of my contraptions end up that way anyway. So then, obviously I do at some point want to upgrade my melon farm to something a bit more automatic. Uh, was that me just twitching or something skipping? And... Again, I think I could, I'm sure I could have done this a lot of ways, or with a detector rail. But this is, I can, I could AFK here if I wanted to just get loads of melons, um, on a large scale. And, okay, there's only three here, so it's pretty slow. But if I built this, like, two-sided, so we could have stacks up there, so going up here, you know, all sides, and just a, a stream taking it all to one place, I can stand in it, this little zombie goes around, Sets off this tripwire, connect to this, obviously. Redstone Monarchy gets going. We're... Oops, see, we're good to go. The issue, I think, it's it's quite slow at spawning melons. Not just because there's three, but I'm assuming this is how it works. Like, I'm not 100% on the mechanics. But obviously every, I think it's... It can spawn 1 to 30 minutes, so maybe it just checks every real-life minute. It will check to see if it can spawn on there, and it's possible at that point the piston's out, because the piston goes out like once every 10 seconds. This is only because it's a small mock-up, obviously I can make the track a lot longer, um, or either or just take out this, so that he goes a lot slower around the whole thing. There's another option. And so sometimes when it checks, the piston's out, so it can't actually spawn anything there. But they'd still do spawn when you're here. Uh, so, so this could... You could, if you build up on all sides, AFK there. Again, you, I'm pretty sure you could just use a detector out here and move this block here. Do I have a detector out on me? No. Um, but yeah, that's that's why I've been working. I'm sure there's going to be some use for this. I mean, you could do it as a... Um, again, you could have done this detector out, but... A spawn... Um, uh, if you could, hooked up to a spawner, it would be quite efficient, but it could use it as a grinder for items, as in you... You know... You have a loop of carts going around the spawner, so they spawn, take them out of the radius, and pass them through like these, and you can just have dispensers with arrows either side. I mean, it'd be really inefficient, the more I think about it. There's a lot of better ways of doing it, but you could do, you could do something with it. But yeah, so that's that's mainly what I've been, what I've been up to. Uh, and a lot of time clearing this out, because I want to do... There'll be something recorded in here. I do need to, I want to put light pistons in at the top, but I need more sticky pistons for that. I mean, I have a few, a lot of them in use, so what am I doing? But yeah, uh, so there's a experimentation going down. And hopefully I can find some, some other uses for this. So I'm sure there are a lot of uses out there. Just keeps going, doesn't he? The unfortunate thing is, again, the, the thing that's really bad about this, or I detect is probably infinitely better, unless I uh, have a spawner. Well, the other thing, oh no, what I could do, I could, I could hook this up near a spawner, so that when I'm at the spawner, it picks up, as it just has one track going around it occasionally, 
so that when I'm AFK, I can make it into an AXP palm that has like one side where if a thing spawned, it takes it through. Because obviously, if I log off, this guy's going to disappear. The, the chunk will unload. Um, which also makes this kind of inefficient. But if I use a detector rail, I can just send it around. Obviously, the other plan is I, you know, do this higher up so that the melons drop over the edge, and I actually just sit in the cart. But for what keeps happening? Am I pressing something? I think I'm pressing something. So essentially, with me in it, it would work better. Uh, but I can't really dem like point at things while I'm flying around in circles. And there was, I don't know, there was some point I was making, but I think that's, that's completely gone. So I think that's all. So all I'm, all I'm rhyming and, and timing about. Yep, more rhyming, less timing. That's the moral of this story.